Mailman! Hello everybody! I know a lot of you guys not only stack silver, but you do a little prepping. So, I thought I'd show you how to make a paracord survival keychain lanyard. You never know, someday you may uh, come across a situation where, man, I need a little bit of rope. Well, here you go. You have it on your keychain. You just unravel this. You got five feet of rope and also you never know you may need it in an emergency let's hope that never happens okay let's uh, get to this and I'll show you how to make it okay let's do this what we're gonna need we need two split rings I got a larger one and a smaller one doesn't really matter a little carabiner pair of scissors, lighter, and about four or five feet of paracord depending on how long you want your uh, lanyard to be. Okay, I've melted the ends of this paracord just to make it easy to work with. And we're going to find the center of this paracord. Grab your two ends, pull the paracord through your fingers. There's your center. Okay, I'm going to take the small O-ring, feed the paracord through there. This is going to determine our length of how long we want our lanyard to be. I'm going to go, I don't know, five inches, something like that. Fold the paracord over, over the O-ring, just like that. And typically, you want these two... Uh, these two working loose ends here, about twice as long as this loop. So I got this loop is about five inches, and I got about ten inches or so hanging down. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna tie a, I believe it's called a cobra knot. All right, let's do this. We're gonna start on the left. Take your left paracord. Wrap it over the top of the big loop and behind the other loose end, just like that. Okay, now we're going to take the one on the left, go underneath the loop, the main loop, and pull it through the loop you just made. We'll tighten this up a little bit, trying to hold your center there so you... Keep your length. It's not critical. These first couple of knots uh, can be a little tricky, but once you uh, get to the second knot, it gets real easy, you'll see. Okay, our first little knot was on the, uh, was over here on the right. So now we're gonna switch sides. We do that all the way down, back and forth, back and forth. We're not going to worry about it being too tight just yet. Okay, take the one on the right. Fold it over. Pull it behind the one on the left. Just like that. Take the one on the left. Wrap it around. Pull it up through the loop you made. Cinch it up. Okay, here's where we want to kind of Tighten everything up. Just pull on the strands, pull on the loop. Use your thumbs. Got it nice and tight. Okay, we're back to the left. Fold it over. Pull it behind. Take the one on the right. Fold it under. And back up to the loop. Cinch it tight. Let's do one more. We're on the left now, or on the right now. Fold it over. Underneath the one on the left. Fold this one under. Back up to the loop. Cinch it tight. We're getting a little pattern going. It's going to be the same on both sides. 
Oh, just in case you forget which side you're working on, it's easy. It's this loop right here. That's the side you're going to start working. Just like that. Fold it over. Back behind. Take your other one. Under. Through the loop. Cinch it up tight. Alright, I'm going to finish this up. We're just going to do the same knot all the way down to right about there. And then I'll show you how to finish this off. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. We got our, we got room for one more little knot there, but this is how it's going to look. It's pretty neat looking. Nice, uh, even braid. So, uh, there's our loop right there. We're going to do one more. Make a loop. Over. Under. Cinch it up. Nice and tight. Okay, let's finish this off. What we're gonna do is cut off these two strands right here and, and melt them. Get your scissors. Cut it short, but not super short because you want to melt that. Just like that. Get your lighter. Put the blue flame on it, get it, uh, get it melted a little bit, use your lighter and press it down. That'll hold that knot in place. Do the other side. Cut it. Melt it. Press it down. Okay, we're almost done. Let's, uh, on this little loop, we're going to put a carabiner. And on this end, we're going to put our keys. Got some keys right here to my old Chevy truck. Put the loop through your keys like that. Bring that uh, other end around and through that loop. There you go. Nice looking lanyard. You can clip it on your belt loop, clip it on your backpack, and uh, if necessary, someday, you're going to have uh, a little less than uh, five feet of rope. You never know. Okay, everyone. That's all I got. Bye.